everyone, Kaylee here with this beachy half updo. It's got what I'm calling beachy ringlets and then a little fishtail that you can do either messily like I did or a little bit more properly. I actually like stuff like this in the holiday season because sometimes it's nice to kind of pull a Blake Lively and pair a beachy hairstyle with a really nice looking dress. So let's go ahead and get started. Step one is to curl the hair. I'm going to give you guys the curl pattern that I use for these beachy ringlets, but if you don't like how they look, you can always do something else. You're going to separate your hair from your ears up and clip it out of the way, and we're going to work with that lowest section first. Basically, all that you have to do is wrap either a 3 quarter inch iron or a 1 inch iron, and you can do this with the one with a clip or a clipless one like I'm doing, and then once the curl is done, you just go ahead and let it fall. That's going to create a looser curl, which is good on this bottom layer because it makes your hair appear longer once it's curled rather than if you were to do a tighter curl. And I think getting great mermaidy beachy hair is all about having nice long looking hair. So it's great to do this so that your hair looks a tiny bit longer even when it's curled. So once you've got that layer done, we're going to move on to the second section of hair. To create your second section, you're going to split the remaining hair in half. Unless you have a lot of hair, then just go about two inches up from your previous section and then clip it out of the way. Now we're going to take your iron and you're going to wrap your hair around just like we did in the first section, but for this one, once it's done, you're going to go ahead and let it fall into your hand so you're holding it in that curled shape. Kind of pull it all together so that it makes a donut shape and then roll that donut up towards the top of the hair so it's right against your roots and then use a bobby pin or like what I am, a single prong clip to hold it in place. And you're going to continue that around this layer. That's going to make these curls much more voluminous, so it's going to make your hair look much more full and like you have tons and tons of hair, which is again very mermaidy and beachy, um, without creating too ringlety looking hair because for the top layer we're going to do something a tiny bit different. So for this top layer, you're going to go ahead and let the rest of your hair fall down. Again, if you have tons and tons of hair, you can split that into sections if you need to. And you're just going to do what we did with the first section, which is to wrap your hair and let it fall. That way these curls look a little bit less perfect and it gives you that great beachy look while still having the volume from that middle section because that kind of poofs out the hair a little bit. And again, it gives you that great mermaidy look. And once everything is done, you can go ahead and take these little clips out and let the curls fall back down and you'll see that you have some great curls going on. If you feel like they look a little bit too perfect, still just take your fingers and kind of shake them a little bit. Don't brush through them because then you'll lose the ringlets, um, but you can always shake them a little bit if they look a little bit too perfect to you. And once that's all done, I also recommend hitting it with a little bit of hairspray because that will always help it to hold a little bit better as well. And now for the half up portion of this hairstyle. You're going to take a bit of hair from the front on each side. In this demonstration, I took all of the hair from the front, which I actually kind of regret. I think you should just take about two or three inches around your part because that looks a little bit more beachy. Then you want to take a corresponding section on the other side and secure them together with a small elastic band. Once you have those secured, you're going to go ahead and loop the hair through so that it creates this cool little twisted effect on either side of the bands and it great, creates a great kind of transition into the fishtail braid. So once you've got that looped to your liking and it looks twisted enough to you, you're gonna go ahead and split that hair in two and you're going to create a fishtail braid. And you're gonna go ahead and do that all the way down the hair and once you've gotten to the bottom of the hair, secure it with a small band. And of course, once you have that secured, you wanna go up back and pull the braid apart a little bit to make it look extra big and beachy looking. And of course, if you don't like fishtail braids or they're a little hard for you, you could always replace this with a normal braid or your braid of choice, whatever that is. Once that's done, your entire hairstyle is done. I hope you guys like this. You can definitely wear it to a holiday party or maybe just out shopping with friends in this holiday season. I hope you guys love it. Make sure to send me pictures if you try it out, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye!